Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Becca, and today I have an unboxing of the December Luma Crate. So as you guys probably know, Luma Crate is a UK-based sci-fi and fantasy bookish subscription box. Every month you get at least one, there is sometimes two, but at least one brand new hardback release and a bunch of bookish goodies. Now Illumicrate did send me this box to show to you guys so thank you very much to Illumicrate for that and if you would like to get hold of your very own Illumicrate after seeing this unboxing I do have a code for you guys, my code is Becca5 and that will get you a discount of a three or six month subscription. So let's crack this guy open, are we ready? Ooh. Illumicrate is the only subscription box I get where the spoiler card consistently throws itself onto the floor. So here we have the spoiler card. The theme for this month's box is Secrets and Schemes. I believe when I read out the information for this on the back of last month's, it said there wasn't a quote of Mr. Fury item in here, which I'm very excited for. But inside here, we do have the spoilers for all of the items, which you can pause it here if you would like to read that, but I'm not going to. And the theme for January is the strength within and like I said if you do want to get your hands on the January box then my discount code will be in my description box. So diving right in, Illumicrate do do a series of mugs that are in every few boxes. I have two so far and there is another in the December box. So this says ploy and play on it. All of these mugs are designed by Rosie Thorne. I have a Nevernight one and I also have a Darker Shade of Magic one but let's just see what I'm adding to my mug collection this month. Ooh, purple theme. Okay. Is this the... It is. So when I first opened this, I did think it was going to be the Cruel Prince, which would have been sad because I don't really like that series. But I believe that this is the Accord of Mist and Fury item, or more specifically, actually, it's Accord of Thorns and Roses, and it is the scene under the mountain where she's dressed in these wisps and the there is my baby Resand in all of his glory. So this is beautiful and now my favourite mug of the collection. Literally to keep me happy, you just have to give me something with Resand. We also have a candle in here. This was the item reveal for the month. This is called Four Paths. Oh, this is um, this is a fresh-ish scent. It smells like it has... It says bonfires and mist, but I'm definitely smelling sage and jasmine. This is from Amelia's Kitchen Candles. The Devouring Grey. This candle may not scare off the beast, but it will be perfect to have lit whilst reading the suspenseful and secret filled The Devouring Grey, which is a book I actually really want to read. So just to give you a close up of the label on this, and it's a plain pale blue candle. Oh, okay. So we do have two enamel pins in here designed by Fable and Black. I love me some enamel pins, although I have to admit it. It's not a fandom I'm super into. And here we have two Star Wars pins. We have R2, no, is that R2-D2? No, it's not. It's BB-8, I think. And two lightsabers. And I'm guessing that these were included because the last film in the new trilogy is out this month. I like enamel pins. I love enamel pins and I really love Fable and Black. Not my favourite item just because I'm not a huge fan of Star Wars, but I know the majority of people are. And before you come at me, I do like Star Wars. I just didn't grow up with it. So I don't have like a huge attachment to it, but I do actually like like Star Wars. <laughs> Next we have a patch. This is inspired by Caraval and this was also designed by Fable and Black. And this is inspired by the legend himself who I think is legendary from Caraval. I haven't read that book yet but I need to. The last item, I think I knew that this was in here but I'm not sure how. But this is a 2020 calendar and it features art by Mel Wilde and Chatty Nora, both of whom often work on Illumicrate art I think. Here we have a series of quotes. I'll see if I can do a quick flip through for you guys. I won't read them all out. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, yeah. Oh, is she pretty? hard for me to see because I am seeing them backwards so I can't even read the quotes right now. You guys always get to see the items before I do. And that one is the last one. So this is really pretty. I really, really like this. 
this is handy. I do want a calendar and does it have, yes, it has lines. I want a calendar that I can actually write on because I have hella things to remember for next year. So every month in Illumicrate, I'm not sure if this will continue to 2020. I don't know whether they'll be starting like a new thing for new year, but you do get a magnetic collectible coin. I really like these because they tend to pick like main characters. So it's generally somebody I recognize and I have read. I think I've read all of the books for the coins that I've got so far. But this month appears to be everybody's favorite bad boy, Kaz Brecker. I will check the card because I have been wrong on that before. The ultimate schemer of schemes. So I'm going to go ahead and say that is Kaz Brecker. And lastly, we have the book of the month. And this month we have, ooh. Blood Air by Emily Wen Zhao. Oh, oh, the pages. The pages have blood drips on them. Yeah, I, I like this. So this is actually, or was actually on my Amazon wish list. I think somebody may have gifted me this, oh no. But it is a book that I really want. It's a book that I hope I love. And if I do love it, I will cherish two editions. Here we have a letter from the author. We have a signature there as well with fancy end papers. So this, I believe there was quite a bit of controversy surrounding this book because the earlier reviewers had an issue with the way that something was represented in here. Apparently it was racially insensitive. I don't know because I didn't read it, obviously. So the release of this was pushed back. I will read you the synopsis of this. In the Cerulean Empire, Affinites are reviled. They're varied gifts to control the world around them are unnatural, dangerous, and Anastasia Mi- <laughs> and Anastas Anastasia Mikhailov. Anastasia Mikhailov. Mikhailov. Anastasia Mikhailov, the crown princess, has a terrifying secret. Her deadly affinity to blood is her curse and the reason she has lived life hidden behind palace walls. When Anna's father, the emperor, is murdered, her world is shattered. Framed as his killer, Anna must flee the palace to save her life. And to clear her name, she must find her father's murderer on her own. But the Cerulea beyond the palace walls is far different from the one she thought she knew. Corruption rolls the land and a greater conspiracy is at work. One that threatens the very balance of her world and there is only one person corrupt enough to help Anna get to its core. Ramson Quick Tongue. A cunning crime lord of the Cerulean underworld, Ramson has sinister plans. Though he might have met his match in Anna, because in this story, the princess might be the most dangerous player of all. This sounds amazing and I am very, very excited to read this one. So that is it for the December Illumicrate. I would say that this is a pretty solid box. Please let me know which item from this box is your guys' favourite. Mine is the the Court of Mist and Fury mug. I love functional items and I love resand. But that's about it for this video, so please don't forget to like if you liked it and subscribe if you want to. If you enter my description box, you'll find a link to Illumicrate's website and social media as well as my discount code. You'll also find a link to my Goodreads Instagram and Twitter if you'd like to follow me on any of those and a link to my Bookish Body Witter and Candle website, the Instagram for that and 10% off discount code. But that's it from me today, guys. Bye. Oh, you bite your friend like chocolate. You say you're a go when nobody knows With guns in under our petticoats We're never gonna quit it, no, we're never gonna quit it, no